Good afternoon. The brother of a woman who's been missing since April says the family is clinging on to the hope she's out there somewhere. Isabel Munro, who's 42, left her home and went to a local high street in Highcliffe in Dorset, but she never came home. She has learning difficulties and is deaf. Her bank accounts and mobile phone have not been used. You have these different ways in your head of, you know, hoping that there's, there's, there's some way that she befriended somebody and they're now, you know, she's perfectly safe somewhere and she just wanted a break from, from the life that she had. And, you know, I'd love that. The man has been arrested in hospital where he's in a critical condition, having suffered stab wounds. Officers were called to a property on Ellis Road and discovered the body of a woman. Thames Valley Police say it's thought to be an isolated incident. The prosecution has been outlining its case in the trial of a man accused of the killing of a rare books collector from Oxford. The court was told Michael Danaher murdered Adrian Greenwood at his home on Ifley Road in April before making off with a rare copy of The Wind in the Willows worth £50,000. When Michael Danaher denies murder, the case continues. A cable fire on the railway line out of London Marleybone has caused severe disruption for commuters. Train services to and from the station have been cancelled for the remainder of the day. It's having a knock-on effect on Chiltern services from Oxfordshire. Engineers had to wait until firefighters had damped down the blaze before they could start repairs, which are expected to take at least 24 hours. We're working flat out to try and repair all of those cables. There's about 10 damaged cables, some of those are 64 core cables. So that's about 600 connections that they've got to remake, retest each and every one to make sure that it's safe and that we can reopen the railway, hopefully, for tomorrow morning. Well, a dispute between staff and management at Southern Rail about the role of guards has deepened after a union accused the company of refusing approaches for unconditional talks. Southern says it is prepared to meet RMT union officials, but will press ahead with plans to implement changes if agreement is not met by noon on Thursday. Conductors will also be served with notices to terminate their contracts. Well, time now to find out what the weather has in store. Here with the all-important forecast is Simon. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, the only fly in the ointment as far as today's weather goes is if you're anywhere near the coast or around the Isle of Wight. That's where there's a bit of a breeze. 15, 20 mile an hour winds here. Elsewhere, dry, fine and feeling warm in that sunshine. Highs of 16, 17 degrees. Now, as we head into tonight, you can see from where the cloud shadow is that there'll be some patchy cloud through the night, some clear spells too. But that breeze will stay with us, so it shouldn't get too cold. Temperatures not really dipping below double figures and it should keep any mist and fog at bay as well and so tomorrow well there will be some cloud around as we head through the day but some fine sunshine too temperatures though on the slide tomorrow as the wind is a bit stronger it'll feel a bit cooler euro tunnel the shuttle sponsors itv meridian weather but it's still not too bad for October, is it? And of course, we're bringing much more on the weather and all the news at six o'clock this evening. So I do hope you can join Fred and Sangeeta then. But now, though, from all the team here this lunchtime, do have a lovely afternoon. Bye bye.